hello welcome to my channel today i will do a review of these uh, set of oil pastels that i received from paul rubens art uh, it's a set of 48 colors so let's open the box um, So on the back you have all the colors in the set uh, with uh, the numbers and uh, the names of the color. So let's open. And I also got a, a color chart of all the sets, I presume. So let's see. Wow. They look really nice. It's a bullet shape, shaped um, tip, and they look wow! Look at that. They look really gorgeous. Let's see if if it is visible. There you have the the number and also the the name, the color name. Uh, included in this box is uh, a color chart for all the colors but I usually do uh, swatching in uh, a little in a little book where I can play a, a little with the colors too so I think I will do I will swatch all the colors in my little book and save this uh, for another time. So let's see. First impression. Uh, they feel really creamy. Almost like a lipstick kind of way. And you really don't have to press hard to get a lot of color on your paper and they feel like they are really easy to smudge around too so we will quickly go through all the colors uh, and I will put on some music then I will play with the oil pastels in an art journal spread
I decided to play in an old book that I have. So I start with uh, gluing down some uh, collage papers, uh, old music notes and uh, papers from another old book. I use uh, some gel medium to glue um, my papers down and also a glue stick. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you use. I like to prepare my pages, uh, art journaling pages, with uh, white gesso or some clear gesso. But in this case, I decided to use white gesso because uh, it's not important today to have the papers visible. I just want uh, a nice surface to work on. So before I dry the page, I make some mark with a silicone tool. And recently I have um, found this shape interesting. is dry and I I decided that I wanted to start the art journal page with some fluid acrylics before I use the oil pastels. You will find a supply list in the description box below the video. Mm. don't have a plan yet so uh, I'm just putting down some paints uh, trying to have some darker areas and some lighter areas where I can work on later so let's bring out the oil pastels and uh, as I said before they look really really gorgeous in this box first i will decide what colors i want and play a little with them before uh, adding them to my journal spread 
I'm testing different colors and different techniques to see what to use. The colors are really smudgy and uh, it comes off a lot of paint. And they're really easy to blend uh, with each other, but um, not that easy to layer on top of each other. It's easier to use uh, dark on top of uh, light colors than light colors on top of dark colors. Um, it helps to make a thin layer and then smudge it before you add a uh, color on top. Like I said before, I don't really have a plan, uh, so I will just um, play with the oil pastels that I have chosen and uh, see what happens. And you will see me uh, try different techniques, smush, scratch, making marks. My finger wasn't really clean so I got uh, a kind of greenish color instead of the yellow that I wanted to try so I will just clean my hands and add some white to get rid of the green. Now I am playing with the pink color and as you see it does it um, it blends with the other color and uh, it wasn't really what I wanted it to look like. It's really easy to uh, blend the colors together so let's get rid of the that. Let's try again but it's not easy to to layer a, a light color on top of a, a darker one. Uh, it works really well where I have the acrylic paint but not the oil pastel. The oil pastels will uh, blend with each other and create a new color.
also see me covering up uh, some of the the oil pastel marks I I did uh, with a white the white oil pastel and uh, blending those together. Now I'm trying to put some uh, acrylic ink on top of the oil pastels just to see how they will react. And as you see, the oil pastels is uh, water resistant and it uh, doesn't work uh, that well. See what happens if I add some heavy body acrylic instead and it looks like it's easier um, I don't know if I would recommend it because I'm not sure what will happen in the long run but uh, this is just a, a tr trial page um, to try different things And I testing if the page is dry and not everything was dry, but uh, they made some nice marks. Now I'm smushing uh, to get rid of that line. The oil pastels are really sticky uh, on the page and uh, I will probably have to seal the page in uh, some way otherwise uh, they will smear uh, on each other. Another thing that I have noticed is that uh, the name and the color number uh, is written on uh, on the top of the crayon and when you have to remove paper to get more crayon uh, the name and number will disappear i also found the text a little bit small and on some of the crayons it's uh, almost not visible to see because uh, it's uh, a bit blurry. Um, I have tried a page and now I, I try to add the pink line again on top of the acrylic paint. It's very easy to um, make marks with the oil pastels and um, I think 
probably um, um, I think probably this is uh, the way I will use the oil pastels uh, as uh, finishing touch in the end on top of acrylic paint because uh, then it will look really nice I think but I also like the way you can um, blend and smush uh, the, the paint colors together and also the way you can make uh, scratchy marks in uh, in the paint and if you are interested uh, you will find a discount code in the description box uh, below the video uh, I'm not really an expert in oil pastels because I I don't uh, often use oil pastels um, I have a few oil pastels in a different brand that I have used uh, in the past in my work uh, but only as a finishing touch or mark making so this is the first time I am playing uh, this much with uh, oil pastels um, and I have really enjoyed it I really really enjoy the variety of colors and I have my favorites along with the blues and the greens and I will try to play a little bit more with the oil pastels just to get the feel for the medium I really hope you like this video if you did, uh, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And I hope I see you soon again. Bye!